friends today i will discuss the numerical problems on nodal method so before we solve the problems based on the nodal method let me discuss about node minor node major node non reference node and reference node a node is said to be a point where minimum two elements are connected together so if you look at this this is one element this is a 4 volts supply one ohm resistance is a another element they are connected by a wire and this point we call that as the minor node or simply node if the three branches or three elements are connected at one point then we call that as the major node so in the in the examination or in the problems when i say node it is the major node so this is one major node similarly at the bottom also there is another node there are three branches connected together this is one branch this is another this is another they are connected together like this and this common point is called the reference node and reference node will be always at ground potential or zero voltage whereas the non reference voltages depends upon its position and its connection with the elements coming to the present problem so the data is given like this a 4 volt supply with 1 ohm resistance similarly a 2 ohm supply with 1 ohm resistance a 2 amperes current source in series with 1 ohm they are connected in parallel like this the question is what is the current flowing in the 2 volts branch so to know the current flowing in the 2 volts branch so we have to follow certain procedure first step is identify the number of nodes present in the circuit so in this case there are only two nodes this is one node this is another node as i said node means now onwards it is major node step 2 assign the nodes and their nodal currents step 3 is write the kcl equation at at nodes at non reference node and then solve for the unknowns so this is the algorithm or this is the procedure to be followed to solve this problem so first step is redraw the diagram like this then assign the nodes so this is one node and we call this node is v1 and this is the reference node so this is grounded like this its voltage is at zero potential and this is called the non reference node and having assigned the nodes then assign the node currents so when we say v1 it is at higher potential than other voltages in the circuit so current flows from v1 to the first branch i1 like this similarly there is another current flows that is i2 from v1 to ground in this branch like this and that current is also equal to i similarly there is another current that flows i3 in the 1 ohm branch in series with the 2 amperes source but if you observe here this i1 i2 i3 are the assumed current directions and if you look at this i3 direction is opposite because i3 value is magnitude wise 2 amperes the, if you look at the current source it is flowing against the assumed current direction of i3 so i3 value will get a negative sign when we solve this problem so next step is we have to write the kcl equation for this circuit 
So when we write the KCL equation for this circuit, so look at the node 1, that is re 1, apply the KCL, algebraic sum of the currents at a junction is equal to 0. So junction means it is nothing but node. If you look at this, I1 also going out of the V1, I2 also flowing out of the node, similarly I3 also flowing out of the node. So algebraic sum means I1 plus I2 plus I3 must be equal to 0. So that is what we have written here. What is I1? I1 is nothing but V1 minus 4 volts divided by 1 ohm. So that is what I1. Similarly, I2 means V1 minus 2 divided by 1. Next, plus I3. I3 value is here, its direction is opposite, so we put minus 2 like this. So once we simplify this, we get 2V1 minus 8 is equal to 0. So it is one equation, one unknown. So we can solve for that unknown. That is V1 is equal to 8 by 2, that is 4 volts. Once we know the V1, we can calculate what is the current uh, I2, that is also called the I, I value. So we can write like this. I2 is equal to which is equal to I is equal to V1 minus 2 divided by 1. So V1 minus 2. Why we are calling minus 2? Because in this current direction, 2 volt supply will become a voltage drop. So a voltage drop will get the negative sign. So we are getting here minus 2. And V1 is always at higher potential because we are taking that as the non-reference node divided by 1. So that gives us what is the current I2 flowing in the circuit. That is also equal to I. So that is 4 minus 2 divided by 1. This 4 was obtained in the previous calculations. So once we simplify this, we get 2 amperes current flowing through the 2 volts supply branch. So let me take Another problem. So here, so we are going to see the, it is a problem in which a, a voltage dependent current source is present. In this case, we want to know what are the nodal voltages. So at this point, at this point and at this point. So to solve this problem, again we have to follow certain procedure. So let me tell the procedure. That is step one is first identify the number of nodes present in the circuit. And in this case, there are only four nodes. And step two is assign the node currents and also nodes. Next step three is write the equation for V, small v, in terms of V1 and V2. This is nothing but it becomes voltage equation. So next uh, step 4 is write the nodal equations, that is at every node we have to write the node equations. Next step 6 is put small v and v2 values in nodal equations. So that is, we can write uh, v2 minus v1 is equal to small v, we say that is equation 1. So next. If you look at this diagram, so we have assigned the, all the nodes. There are 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 nodes are there. This is the reference node, so it is at, uh, at ground potential. Whereas this is the node 1, this is node 2, node 3. And node 1 will have the voltage called V1, and node 2 will have the V2, node 3 will have the V3. And the currents flowing from V1 is outwards like this. One flows like this, the other flows like this, the other flows like this. Whereas uh, V2 also the current starts flowing from its node towards the branches. So it flows like this here in this branch. Similarly, that flows like this in this branch. Similarly, the current flows in this branch like this. Similarly, V3 also 
so one current flows through the one ohm resistor the other current flows uh, through the this dependent uh, current source uh, branch similarly there is another current that flows here that is through one ohm so we have identified the number of nodes and also the uh, reference node and also obtained or we have shown the current directions in the branches once this is done we can write uh, what is small v small v is nothing but its polarity is already fixed so it is at a higher potential that is v2 minus v1 is equal to small v and we say that is equation 1 next node 1 equation we can write like this this is the node 1 so node 1 means v1 minus v3 divided by 1 means we are taking the voltage across this and dividing with this resistance to get the current flowing in this with respect to node 1. Next, what is the other current that flows from the V1? That is V1 minus V2 divided by 2. So next, V1, there is another current flowing here, V1 minus 5. Why we are writing minus 5? Because it is in this assumed current direction, this will become voltage drop. Voltage drop will get the negative sign. So we write here V1 minus 5 divided with the resistance in that branch. So that is equal to 0. So if we simplify that, you will get 5 by 2 into V1 minus V2 by 2 minus V3 is equal to 5. And we say this is equation 2. Similarly, at node 2 also, we can write the equation. So at node 2, it is V2 plus 2 is equal to 0. V2 plus 2 means in this branch, V2 plus 2 because in this assumed current direction, this will become voltage rise. Voltage rise will get the positive sign. So we write here V2 plus 2 is equal to 0. So from this, we can say V2 is equal to minus 2 volts and we say this is equation 3. So similarly, write the equation, KCL equation at node 3. This is node 3. So that is V3 minus V1 divided by 1 plus V3 minus V2 divided by 1 plus. So there is another current flowing that is dependent current flowing like this. So going downwards. So we write to plus 3V, small v, 3 into small v is equal to 0. So if you look at this, this current source, that is dependent current source value depends upon the voltage drop across this 2 ohm resistor. And we say this equation is equal to uh, equation 4. And now put the equation 1 and 3 in equation 2 and 4. Equation 2 is this and equation 4 is this. So we have to put what is I mean, equation 1 and equation 3. So equation 1 and equation 3 are nothing but this. V2 minus V1 is equal to small v and that is equation 1. And V2 is minus 2 volts that is equation 3. And we already know what is uh, equation 2 and equation 4. If we substitute these values, so we get uh, 5 by 2 V1. So here we substitute V2 value and similarly here uh, we substitute uh, uh, I mean as it is V3 like this. So 5 by 2 V1 minus of minus 2 by 2 minus V3 is equal to 5. So because this minus, I mean, uh, 2 by 2 becomes 1 and uh, minus 1 into minus 1 means plus 1 we get here, minus V3 is equal to 5. And then we can uh, rearrange these terms, that is we get 5 by 2 V1 minus V3 is equal to 4. Further we can write the equation like this, 5 V1 minus 2 V3 is equal to 8 and we say this is equation 5. So next, 
substitute uh, this equation 3 in equation 4. So equation 4 is nothing but this that is v3 minus v1 by 1 and plus v3 minus v2 by 1 plus 3 into small v. Here we have to substitute what is this v2 value So, first we simplify this v3 minus v1 by 1 plus v3 minus v2 divided by 1 plus 3 into small v, we replace with v2 minus v1 is equal to 0. Then if you further simplify this, we get uh, 2v3 minus 4v1 plus 2v2 is equal to 0 and we say this is equation 6. So now add this equation 5 and equation 6. This is equation 5, this is equation 6. So once we add, then what we get is, these two are going to get cancelled. So then we get here v1 plus 2v2 is equal to 8. And say this is equation 7. And because we know v2 is equal to minus 2, we substitute that, then we get what is v1. So v1 is equal to 8 minus 2v2, that is uh, 8 minus 2 into my v2 value is minus 2, so we get uh, 12 volts. So once we know v1 and v2, and take one equation, then get what is v3. So that v3, we can get like this v3 is equal to 8 minus 5 v1 divided by minus 2. So from equation 5, that is 5 v1 minus 2 v3 is equal to 8. We know v1 and we also know v2. So we write this equation to get v3 like this. v3 is equal to 8 minus 5 v1 divided by minus 2. So because we know what is uh, v1, there is a uh, 12 volts, so 8 minus 5 into 12 divided by minus 2, then we get uh, what is called minus 52 by minus 2, then we get 26 volts. And we know v1, v2 and v3. Now we can calculate what is small v. Small v is nothing but v2 minus v1. That is minus 2 minus 12. And that is nothing but minus 14 volts. So let me summarize all the values. That is v1 is 12 volts, v2 is minus 2 volts and v3 is 26 volts. And small v is minus 14 volts. So we have covered the nodal method with independent sources and also with the dependent sources.